is the time where we know we lock in, we reinvent ourselves so we could come out unrecognizable. Hey y'all, I'm Amber, and you found the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me series. We're gonna be talking about hot girl hibernation because it's the time where we know we lock in, we reinvent ourselves so we could come out unrecognizable. In this video, I'm trying to give you the whole plan. We're trying to detail for you a full physical, mental, emotional glow up that you leave this winter a whole new girl while we get ready, of course. Each section is gonna have some actionable steps for you to take, but there is no that way you need to do any of these steps. You don't need to do them in order or anything. The thing for this season is grace. Give yourself some grace. So you don't need to incorporate absolutely everything that I say into your hot girl hibernation. We're just trying to ensure that you have that glow up in all the areas of your life next summer. Do what is realistic for you, incorporate it slowly. That being said, let's go. We're starting with the mental glow up. I actually think the mental glow up is arguably the most important part because you know if your mind isn't right, Right? It's absolutely nothing else is gonna go how you plan. Our minds are so freaking powerful. We have the ability with our minds to craft the world that we want. So the goal of this glow up in your mental department is to make sure that you're in control of your mind and your mind is not controlling you. The first step is the self-reflection. It's gonna include doing the journaling, doing the shadow work. We want to really identify what are those thoughts that we think are holding us back. They're called limiting beliefs. What are our limiting beliefs? I need you to really take into account what that voice is in your head when you're about to go after something that you want. What are those thoughts hold you back in your everyday life? Journal, write them down, get them out there in the world so they're not just hiding in your subconscious. You need to be fully aware of them in this self-reflection phase. Also in this self-reflection phase, I need you to take account of who you are in the moment. What life do you currently live? I need you to be super honest with yourself. You're gonna write down exactly who you think you are in this moment. Write down exactly how you live right now. All of your habits, whether good or bad, let you know your starting point. After we have a full account now of who we are, what are our limiting beliefs, now you have to write down what it is you want. Who you wanna be? You need to write down every single thing about this girl. How much she makes, what's her dream career, who does she hang with, where does she go, what does she do when she wakes up, what is her morning routine like, what is her nighttime routine like, how does she feel on a daily basis? You wanna get super clear on your end goal. So you have all of that defined, you're gonna set some intention. Define clearly what it is you wanna improve. Is it your mental health? You feel like anxiety is what's holding you back the most in life. You feel like you're not disciplined enough. You often say you want certain things in your life but then you don't go after them. Is it the fear? Is it anxiety? Like what is it you really want to break the cycle on and write it down? After this phase, you need to leave with a clear depiction of who you are and where you're going. And then now that we have all of that, we're going to set up a daily gratitude practice. Remember that the theme of our hot girl hibernation is grace, right? So even though we're trying to change things about ourselves, we're still gonna love ourselves. This is a life we were given. So every Every morning I need you to wake up and I need you to have a gratitude journal, a moment of gratitude, however you want to do it. If that's saying it out loud to yourself in the mirror, if that's writing down 10 things that you're grateful for, always make sure that you write down what you're grateful for. So in the moments that this gets hard and you want to quit and you want to fall back on old patterns, you remember that it's gratefulness that's driving you. No matter where you are in life, baby there is something to be grateful for. Step two after self-reflection in our mental glow up is getting rid of our limiting beliefs. And here's exactly how we're gonna do that. Number one, we're taking a digital detox. So no one wants to admit it, but social media is having a serious impact on how we see ourselves, what we think about ourselves. It's not normal for us to always be consuming other people's lives, comparing ourselves to other people. So digital detox for our hot girl hibernation is essential. Set timers every day for you to distance yourself from your phone. I know our phones are like super essential to life, so if you have to use your phone to like use a GPS or whatever like that's not including our digital detox it's mostly social media use thing that can influence your thought process in a way that you don't want it to cut that out it pertains to your devices do that you'll start to realize just how much those limiting beliefs were not even yours realize just how many of those limiting beliefs of you're not good enough and I don't look good enough and I'm not this and I'm not that genuinely came from you taking in content online but for getting rid of our limiting beliefs is affirmations and I know everyone talks about affirmations because it works I don't want you to just do morning affirmations though. You need to flood your mind with positivity for an extremely long time to get it to rewire all of those subconscious negative beliefs. Start doing is first thing in the morning, your spiritual, read your Bible, things like that. Take in something positive. After any spiritual practices you have, praying, reading the Bible, things like that, you need to jump straight into your affirmation. That's listening to a morning affirmation on YouTube. There are so many on YouTube, 10 minute affirmations, things like that. Keep them to yourself as you lay in bed 
or as you get ready for the morning if you don't have time to lay in bed. Make sure that that becomes a part of your morning routine. Saying positive things to yourself. I'm worthy, I'm beautiful, I'm amazing, I'm confident. Whatever it is that you're struggling with, whatever that limiting belief is, find an affirmation to counteract that and add that into your morning routine for the next couple of months. Please also do it before bed. Listening to affirmations while you sleep can also be super helpful because it's reprogramming your subconscious while you sleep. Step three is our learning and growing. This is reading your self-help books. If you're not the type of person who likes to read, this is listening to your audiobooks. Books that you consume in this mental glow up phase should be specifically based on whatever those limiting beliefs, weaknesses that you identified, it's to strengthen those. For example, some of the books that I read when I was going through my mental globe, and I will be also reading this winter because I'm doing this right with y'all, Attached. I love the book Attached because it talks about attachment style in relationships, how they can affect your relationships and how we can get back to being more securely attached if you have any of the attachment styles that's talked about in the book. It's a really good book to help you self-regulate in relationships, learn how to operate and get to more healthy, stable relationships. I absolutely love and 100% recommend for this mental globe phase, Little Art of Not Giving a Fuck. The book was one of the biggest catalysts for me when I started my self-development journey. It essentially talks about how as a human we are bound to care about things. What we choose to focus our emotional energy on is really important. The book kind of guides you on how to pick and choose what is important and where to put your energy. In this mental glow up period it's really important for us to know exactly where to put our energy because there's only so much time in the day for us to focus on so many things. So if you're too focused on the wrong things you will miss out the time that you could have taken to focus on yourself. Last, last, last thing I will say as it pertains to learn and grow portion. Therapy can be expensive. If you don't have insurance or something like that. If you're able, talking through the things that you have experienced will 100% help you on the journey to becoming a better you. A website I love to use called Grow Therapy. I've mentioned it in a video before this. Access you to providers listed on their database. You can see all of their bios and what they specialize in. You can try different therapists. I don't think they charge you up until you've had a couple of sessions. Try different therapists out, figure out what you like. But therapy is one of those things that if you've never been to therapy, it'll change your life. Sometimes some of the things we've been through require a professional and there's nothing wrong with that and there's no shame in that. If you want to come out of this hot girl hibernation as different people, therapy may be necessary. Next, we're moving into our physical glow up. This fall and winter, we're not playing with our physical glow up. But before we even get into things like going to the gym and whatnot, we know our physical glow up starts from the inside. The first thing that we're going to do is get on a better eating regimen. Getting out, eating out more than once a week. Increasing our fruits and vegetables intake, making sure we're getting our fruits at breakfast, eating vegetables with our dinner, drinking our chlorophyll water. Thing I recommend if you have problems getting your like water intake because I used to, I bought a big ass Stanley cup. Do not need to get a Stanley per se at all, but a water bottle that holds close to your daily amount of intake will help you a lot so you don't feel like you're just chugging cups and cups and cups of water. Me, I calculated my daily intake as being like two and a half Stanley cups, so I just know if I'm drinking two and a half Stanley cups that I'm getting the right amount of water. I like vegetables, juice them instead and add apple juice or some other juice that will make it a little bit easier to get down. You drink your greens instead of eating your greens because I know it's not super easy to eat things that you don't like, especially if that's not your eating patterns. That's fine, but in our girl hibernation, we're forcing ourselves to do it in any way that's possible. Next, after we get our eating habits in order, we need to have an exercise routine. I'm not gonna tell you that has to be the gym, but you need to at least be doing a physical activity three to five times a week. You can mix and match it. For me, my routine is gym three to five times a week, Pilates two times a week. In between the days, I don't go to the gym, so it's something low impact between my high impact days. You can also do other forms of fitness if the gym and Pilates and things like that are either too expensive, not your preferred activity. The point of the matter is to make sure you're getting the movement, getting the steps, moving your body every single day. So whether that's dancing, hiking, cycling, running, walking, we're just making sure that on a schedule we are keeping our body up. So write down your body goal because you may not like the gym, but if your body goals is to build a that BBL figure, it happens in the gym. So that goes back to step one of knowing where we're trying to go so we can create that plan to get us there. Next thing of course y'all know is coming is the hair, the nails, the lashes, that physical upkeep. We're staying on top of it even though it's winter and we are trying not to be seen we're in hibernation that doesn't mean that we're not still going to keep ourselves up as you know when you look good you feel good. if we have all these big goals we want to come out here unrecognizable a part of being unrecognizable as a woman is keeping yourself up if you have the money to do it get your nails done on a consistent basis so you get used to it nails toes make sure you have a pedicure a manicure eyebrows wax hair done but for those who may not be able to get that done we're investing all the diy beauty 
Lash clusters. I have lash clusters on right now. No shame in the game. Press on nails. My favorite is from BR Box in Amazon. Not sponsored. Again, I really just like them and theirs look the most realistic. Get you a pack of eyebrow razors so you keep up with your eyebrows if you don't want to go to the salon. Easiest way to look put together to try to have all the tools you need at home. So outside of just our hair, nails, lashes, manicures, and waxes, ensure that we smell good. Hygiene. Get your hygiene routine together. Showering every day. Exfoliating. Layering your favorite scents together. This is my favorite inexpensive combo right now. When I tell you, you're going to smell like the most edible, sexy, candy, pastry, flower. I don't know how that goes together, but I promise you that's what it smells like. All for under $200. This is the Lush Let the Good Times Roll Body Spray. It smells like, like a vanilla caramel fragrance. This is the Vanilla Bean and Macadamia Body Oil from Victoria's Secret. It also has glitter, so you shine when you put it on. It's so pretty. This is the Kaoli Apple. These three together will have you smelling like something that people want to eat. Layering this every single day, even when you're at home. Just another form of self-care that we're developing to go back out into the world. The last thing I want to mention for our physical glow up are those hobbies. You gotta take time to pour into yourself outside of just working on yourself. Finding those things that you love, incorporate that into your weekly routines. And I add this into the physical category because I don't want it to be anything digital. The only exception is if you read on your phone because I also have books that I read on my phone so that one counts a little bit. But reading, painting, coloring, thing that feeds your soul, you need to incorporate it. And the last, last thing, our last last glow up pillar is emotional. Take time for yourself and give yourself some grace. Changing your life is not easy. It takes time, it takes determination, it takes willpower. So in this period, we're being kind to ourselves. If you wake up one day and you realize, you know what, I'm just not, I can't make it to the gym today, I'm so overwhelmed, honor yourself. Practice honoring yourself. Practice saying no to people. If friends ask you to go out to the club and you know you're in this hibernation period and you don't want to go, say no. Don't do anything in this hibernation period that goes against who you are and what you believe believe in. Make time for your friends and family as well. Don't just isolate. I know this is hibernation period so you technically should be alone in a lot of this. There will be a lot of aloneness but that doesn't mean you should lock yourself away and not talk to anyone. Make time for your friends and family still because they also feed your emotional state. Make time for people that make you feel happy. Even if that's not just your friends and family, anyone who feeds your soul and makes you feel good, spend time interacting with them because they will help you through this glow up period and they'll keep you on track as well. That's it you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep in mind, I'm not perfect. These are the exact steps routines and stuff that I'm implementing as well into my everyday life because I'm trying to grow up as well. We're doing this together. If you ever need someone to talk to while you're going through this, drop a comment, hit my DMs, anything like that. We're here together. We are glowing up together. And if you love these chit chat, get ready with me videos, really like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any topics that you specifically want to talk to me about, definitely hit me up. Let's talk about it and I'll make a video about it. I post every Sunday and Wednesday, so look out for that. And I'm excited to see y'all the next one. Bye.